Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's Portugal against Italy. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Can he do it? Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. Trying to deliver it accurately. Oh, fantastic effort. He made great contact, but the keeper more than equal to it. Well, it still could be dangerous. And foul it is then. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything... Oh, opportunity goal. here, Stuart! In it goes! An early goal! No wonder they're celebrating! Well, as you can see again, Fernandez plays a perfectly weighted pass beyond the defenders and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. <laughs> Domenico Berardi. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Getting through fantastic work here just to keep possession. On to Hernandez. He has teammates around him. Decent effort there. Well, he has such good technique. He really did hit that well. He certainly came close there. Not much time to make up his mind. Verratti. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Marco Verratti. Verratti. On the offensive. Immobile! Surely! And he's done it! Parate again! A magnificent game unfolding! Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker, and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. So the ball is rolling again at one all. And back now with Hernandez. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Can't miss, surely. Well, just look at this turn, and the finish isn't bad either. That's a great goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Well, those stats don't surprise me. Italy have certainly had more of the ball, but it means nothing unless they start to be more creative, particularly in the wide areas. Up to this point, they've been too easy to defend against. Jorginho. It did look on for them, but not to be. Getting forward. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And so it is, the first half story has been written.
underway once more it's advantage Portugal after the first 45 but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over might be able to set up the chance Leal Bruno Fernandes that's a routine take Spinazzola Barassi now Barella and well, he keeps going but they dealt with the threat posed needs to clear it away well no damage done I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far yeah he's had a good first half hasn't he looked lively created plenty of chances and rewarded for his industry with that key goal hopefully he can keep that momentum going into the second half now breaking at pace it is now with Jorginho and as a defender you really have to concentrate to the maximum to bar the door as he did then Fernand oh breezing past him they've gone and scored again they're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance, and makes good contact with the ball. That's a top-class finish. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Pellegrini. Trying to chisel a chance out of it. Immobile. And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. Now will the keeper have to pay the price for that mistake? Real chance. It's still alive. He's blocked it. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Elects to go short. Pellegrini. Still possibilities. And the keeper put to the test, but he comes through it. Well, he's so sharp, isn't he? Great first save and then the recovery. It's a weighted pass. Surely. Oh, a really crisp effort, but just wide. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And just five minutes remaining. A real opening now. And there it is. That will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. And he's through here. And the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty given. And it has been judged to have been a bookable offence. Well, I think the referee's got that right all round. It was a penalty and it was a yellow card. And that is when you need your goalkeeper. And now the delivery. Acerbi. Immobile. Well, they pulled one back, but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. 
They haven't been at the races this evening. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. And the final whistle here. A real sense of feel good in the Portuguese camp on the back of this victory, Stuart. Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.